Hi, I'm Bryce DeFigurito, and I'm going to teach you how to build my Sea Perch project, which is an accelerometer um, that helps teach junior high students about calculus. Uh, so, what you need is um, you need your accelerometer chip, and this is an, uh, a three axis accelerometer on a breakout board. Um, and you need a Logomatic V2 data logger. Um, as you see, as you can see, I already uh, cut some wires uh, with a wire cutter and attached them to the data logger. Um, you have to hook up the 3.3 volts of power in the ground, and as well, uh, you have to hook it up into uh, the digital analog inputs one, two, and three. Um, and those are then hooked up to the X, Y, and Z um, pins of the accelerometer and as well you hook up the, the positive and negative power for for the accelerometer um, to the 3.3 volts and the ground on this um, and for time's sake I won't do that but um, you could just connect these wires and you can solder them to it as if you'd like um, you then hook up the battery um, to the data logger and that supplies power uh, not only to the data logger but to the accelerometer as well um, you wrap that entire thing um, in just a paper towel um, and this is just to um, secure it in place and, as, and keep it dry um, just in case anything uh, happens and you put that in a Rubbermaid container and this is airtight and watertight so it keeps it dry um, and this, you can attach to the sea perch um, just using using cable ties or zip ties. Um, and I like to put it just on the bottom of the sea perch right here. And again, for time, I'm not going to actually hook it up. But you can get the idea. You use that mesh and these PVC, PVC pipes and you hook it up. Um, when you're done logging the data, uh, you take your data logger. And you can either use the um, you can either use a micro SD card or the USB cable that comes with the data logger. Um, you just hook that up to the data logger, and you hook it up to your computer that has MATLAB on it. And you just plug it into the USB port, and then um, you take the file off of the data logger and you drag it in and, and you just open it up in Excel. This is just a text um, document open in Excel and here you have to input your times um, just in increments of whatever um, uh, sampling rate you had um, and then you open up MATLAB um, and you run the program it asks you for the file to be read Um, and it, it comes up with the graphs of the data that you uh, gave it and with the speed and the distance. Um, and as well, there's a function that outputs um, position, um, but it's, it's not very accurate um, right now with the algorithm that we have. Um, and then there's an accompanying PowerPoint that we made that um, a BYU student could use to teach um, the junior high kids about calculus and it just goes through uh, what a derivative is, what an integral is, and how acceleration, velocity, and position are all related to each other. And they could go through this before or after they uh, log the data and just teach the kids what's going on and how we can get this in very simple terms without doing any real calculations. So that's my C-Perch project, uh, my accelerometer project. Um, so really all you need is your data logger, your accelerometer, some wires to hook it up, um, the Rubbermaid container, um, the MATLAB code, and your Microsoft PowerPoint presentation, and the C-Perch, and you're good to go. Thanks.